Previously on Greasy Hammer's factory. Build some more volcano tamers. An additional volcano here. Maybe we'll do this one as well. I'd like to build a lime farm and I think this would be a really good spot for that. We're gonna put our poke shells over here. Food does not get put into this fridge unless it gets below two kilos. Gotta be careful with this thing. You see we're actually running everything off this puny 1000 watt, but that's gonna change soon. We're starting with just the one, so that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long road ahead. All right, so that's gonna be our new tamer. We're gonna have to move around some things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some obsidian ladders over here so we can still get up there. And instead of the steel door, we're gonna put wolframite door. Okay, this is flowing, this is cooling. Okay, that's definitely not great. Trovaldo, are you done yet? Finally. All right, we're gonna prep to build a second turbine hole here. It's a little bit of a different design. Nice. Now he can finally get to work. Okay, we're gonna need to get this coal ASAP. Let's grab it. And then we need to build a ladder here. Get the rest of it. All right, the other thing we wanna do is install this fire pole over here. And we're just gonna shimmy this ladder over there. That'll help to speed things along. Could actually reclaim this thing. There we go. This is working pretty well. We're capturing CO2 and providing oxygen at the same time. Everything is working. Food is cooking. Something is printing. Let's see what's printing. Ah, joyous seeds. Okay, we're going to take that. Nice. Research is not researching. I think that's because of radiation or the lack thereof. Let's crank this on. Let's see how much radiation this thing is pumping out now. Used to be not so much. Oh, that's pretty intense. Don't want to go in there. This door is really useful now. But out here, it's really safe, as you can see. So there's water, petroleum, and several doors here are really keeping everything nice and safe. And over here is pretty minute, so even for the animals, it's fine. I mean, they're getting some rads, but, you know, as it says, it's mostly safe, so that should be fine. Yeah. All right. Once this is producing... Ooh, we got some nuclear waste here. Yeah, let's mop it up. It's uh, decayed to safe levels, so nothing to worry about. All right. Let's actually check out our steam tamer, see how it's doing. Oh, yeah, it's going nuts. This thing is overpressured, but the one vent is still working. Yeah, in retrospect, you can rearrange this a little bit differently to prevent them from overpressuring. Maybe I'll make a separate video on that. Or if we build a separate steam tamer, I'll do it a little bit differently, which will prevent this. There's a couple of ways to do it. Like one of them, you can make the chamber larger, add a second turbine. But there is also another way where you can drip the liquid in a bit of a different arrangement. And then it's not going to cause overpressure. The point is you got to like submerge the vent in a liquid itself. That's kind of the trick. But we'll do a video on that. I think that might be interesting. Oh, this guy. It's just wild. Just hanging out there. Not gonna bother him. We got enough over here. Yeah. A lot of them will just kind of starve, but that's okay. There's plenty extra available. Not a problem. Main thing is we got a lot of glossy ones here. So that'll be very good. All right. Oxygen is not great over here. What we really got to do is pump up a little bit more oxygen into this room. It's uh, It needs to be pressurized a little bit better. What we'll do is we'll just hook up this pipe over here. Like so. And then we're just going to connect the power. Yeah, the power is provided actually in a kind of a funny way over here. So these guys, in fact, are essentially off the grid and they're providing power just this little part. 
In fact, it's only meant to run this aqua tuner to top up whatever it's lacking from the steam turbine. But we're going to have this gas pump here as well. You know what? Let's just get this going over here. There we go. All right, there we go. These guys are charging the battery now. That's going to be used to power the aqua tuner. Yeah, it doesn't need to run very much, so it's fine. Yeah, it runs about 5%, really. You can see these doors automatically close to take some of the heat out of here. And this keeps everything nice and cozy. It's cool down here, and then it's kind of about 40 degrees over here. And it dumps the heat into this area over here, which is then cooled by this aqua tuner. Matter of fact is we don't even need this loop anymore. I'll get rid of this. Alright. Ah, this needs to be set up. Pinch row. And then we're gonna make sure this is evacuated. Alright. Alright, good. Nice. One thing I wanted to do was to add an alarm over here in case we're running low on fresh water. This is always handy. So let's do that. There we go. That ought to do it. Alright, perfect. Now if it gets low, at least I'll know. So. Okay, and then what's going on over here? Oh, man. We're gonna need to deal with this. There's just not enough oxygen coming down here. And a lot of CO2. And that's because of this thing is pumping out like crazy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some pumps over here. And we're gonna disconnect these from power. Done. And hook these up. Done. Yeah, that should be good now. There we go. Now we're cooking. And it still allows the exhaust for the gas generator and the plastic press if we need to. The rest of the CO2 will just kind of fall down there naturally. Alrighty. How are we doing? Slowly building over here. The guys are just kind of chipping away at this. This ladder can go. Got to clean all this up. All right. It's a process. All right. This is dormant. No, overpressure. Okay, we don't want to pop this then. Because otherwise we're going to have a really bad day. Instead, what we can do... Get a ladder down here. All right, that should do it. We'll keep this capped for the time being. And then let's see, we've got a little bit more coal down here. Let's get it. We're going to need all the coal we can get. All right, that should do it. Let's see who's printing. <laughs> People are just running like crazy to take a leak. Wow. What a sense of urgency. Really moving with a purpose. Uh, this is nice and cool. Uh, power is a constant struggle. No kidding. How are we doing over here? This is what happens when you leave things unattended. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. Yeah. But don't leave things unattended. All right, this should eventually um, sort itself out. Oxygen is just going to push its way down, spread out, and this should fix itself. Just going to need some time. All right, and research is complete. Okay, yeah, so space power is done. And we can finish up spy engineering. Let's see here. 
Uh, let's cut the power over here. Yeah, we need that power somewhere else. All right, getting a little bit more oxygen this time. A little bit. <laughs> the CO2 here is just going crazy. This is just nuts. So one of the things I was trying to figure out was why are we filling up with CO2 over here? Like that didn't used to be the case. And then when I looked down here, I realized that our carbon capture and storage is overloaded. So we're going to need to make some more room. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to expand this chamber over here for now. All right, now we can carve out this thing. Ah, there we go. Now, one other thing I noticed here is that there's quite a bit of oxygen down here. And we can actually use that to feed these dispensers over here. So let's do that. And the other thing is this thing really doesn't need to work here right now. So we can turn that off. There. Otherwise it just wastes power. It's supposed to be the uh, natural gas collector, but it's not a huge deal. The natural gas will just rise naturally shall we say okay so this just needs to get the vents get some plumbing all right that's coming along nicely now what we could do actually is we could set up a bridge here and top this up all right that's a little bit better now we're getting full packets of oxygen and co2 so it's a little bit more efficient. Anyways, let's see what's printing over here. Haha, <laughs> we should get one of these. Let's see, how radioactive is that thing? Hey. Mostly safe. That's alright, I guess. And this is just kind of stalled out a little bit because we don't have enough materials, but as things progress, we're going to finish this. All right, this is coming along nicely. Almost done. Yeah, we're getting there, folks. I fixed this up a little bit. So it's got a little bit more room to maneuver over here. Otherwise, uh, CO2 was struggling to get in, and I just rigged it with the signal switch here. So this way, it's always on for now. And it's really soaking up all the CO2. And it's going to take a while to get it out of there anyway. We're still okay for food. Alright, almost done. Just need to do a little bit of cleanup. And we fill it up. Oh yeah, one other thing. We should set this valve to 1,000 grams. Very important. All right, looks like another research is complete. Let's have a look here. Uh, space program. Yeah, things are moving along nicely. We got the next one queued up here. We're not doing any space exploration just yet, but it's going to happen. Probably in the next episode. Or maybe the one after that. Stay tuned. In the meantime, let's keep going. we are got to button this up. What we're going to do now is we're going to put this sedimentary rock wall here. Why sedimentary rock? Just because it's got pretty decent heat transfer properties. That should be fine. Let's see what's printing. All right, we got glass. Oh. Well, we'll make lots of glass, so I don't think we need to worry about that. That, however, is pretty neat. I'm gonna radiate everybody. <laughs> ah, you know. 
It's good for the immunity. Now, oh, looking down here, it looks like we got a bit of a spill. I think I know what happened. Well, let's mop this up anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? We're going to put some mesh tiles in here instead of airflow. That's what we'll do. That should give a little bit extra wiggle room. All right, let's have a look here. All right, let's get that in there. Okay, that's done. Let's button this up. Done. All right, all set. Now we just got to fill the liquids. Let's get some plumbing in here. Okay, I slowed it down a little bit so you can see what's going on here. First thing we'll do is we'll fill the oil on the very bottom. And with a little bit of snipping magic, we're going to fill her up. There we go. All right, oil is all set. You can see there it is on the bottom. Now we just gotta need to fill up some water. And we don't have a lot of water around here, so we're gonna have to use some of the loop here, just for the time being. All right, first we'll start by filling this cooling loop. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop some water down there. All right, that should be enough to get started. Let's have a look here. All right, maybe a little bit more actually. There we go. What I did was I disconnected the oil line down here and I'm gonna drain this line. And after that, we're gonna use it to bring more water down here. Otherwise it's gonna overheat at some point. And also we're gonna need to drip some water in this line, just in this open area here. So let's go ahead and add a vent. There we go. Another thing we can do for now is add a bottle amp here. Like that. And then we're just going to bring some bottles in here. Okay, so I rearranged the plumbing a little bit. And now we got water coming in. Which should refill this, uh, this line here. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit because this vent is going to start to drain water in here now. I want to make sure we don't overflow anything. All right, that should be good. So I just disconnected the pipe. And we're going to deconstruct this vent. But we're not done here. Because now we're going to fill the water into this. So let's actually forget this ball empty here. And instead, just connect the line right here. That's better. And somebody please come and deconstruct this vent. Now let's see how much water we got here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That should be fine. Looks like we had some oil in the pipe. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and mop that up. Done. And let's actually put the ball emptier back in. All right, we're just going to clean everything up and it should be good to go. And the cooling loop is refilling. So that's nice. All right, I figured this ball emptier would come in handy. Get rid of it. All right, so while this is filling up, let's have a look over here. So this third volcano is dormant now, so we're gonna go ahead and dig it up. And then we're gonna research it, or analyze. I keep saying research, but it's actually analyze. All right, Travaldo should be coming to research this any minute now. Oh, let's see what's printing. All right, we're not ready for more dupes yet, but it's coming. I'm going to take this for now. And let's see. Well, at any rate, Geraldo is going to be here soon. But in the meantime, let's have a look over here. 
All right, this is getting pretty full now. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that pipe. If anything, it might be a little bit too full, but it should be just enough. We have this lip over here, so it's not going to overflow. Anyways, let's see. Okay, cooling loop is full. So we can go ahead and get rid of this bridge. And what we're going to do then is we're going to take this out and reconnect this pipe. And that should start draining the water out of here. Perfect. All right, water is leaving the building. But we're not ready to reconnect the oil yet because we're still using this pipe. And we can actually cut this over here for now. Let's see what's going on up here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is going to drain eventually. All right, this bridge is out of here. And this is set to 1000. And we're ready to turn this on. So what we're going to do is put a bridge over here. And that will start to feed the magma into the sloop. All right, starting to warm up. Oh yeah. Let's give it a couple of minutes. Uh oh, we got high stress over here. What's going on? Turner. Turner is in trouble. So we're going to need to assign him to one of these right away. There. And the problem is we don't have enough power, but we should, considering we've got extra turbines firing now. So we might need to cut the power to some things. Let's cut the power over here for now. And this. All right, Turner's got this one. He's fine. All good. All right, this guy's firing. And the third turbine is heating up. Let's speed this up. All right, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Let's see what we got here. This doesn't produce very much power. That's just to get the remainder of the heat. So it's coming at about 115 degrees. That's pretty good. And we get about 600 and change and 500 and change. So it's about 1200 watts, 1300, 14, yeah. It's about 1400 watts. That's pretty good. Ah, we got more high stress over here. Uh, it's not too bad. They'll report to the massage room. All right, meanwhile, Turner is wrapping it up. He's done. Let's grab this data bank. And let's button this thing up. And I'm going to hook up this pump to get on with the rest of the program. Set this valve to one gram. And then what we're going to need to do is bring some naphtha in here. So I think we're going to need a pipe. Let's get that done. All right, let's see how we're going to navigate this mess. All right, so the naphtha tank is all the way over here. It's got about 680 kilos. I think what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this tank and that's going to create a bottle. And then we'll unload this bottle somewhere over here. Right there. And then what we'll do next, we're going to set up a pump. Down here. And we'll stick a new reservoir as well for now. There. That should do it. 
connect the power. We're just going to hook this up to the heavy wire for the time being. There. Okay, and we got a ball of Natha here. All right, so we should have quite a bit more power. Now, there is more magma being used here than this little volcano can produce. So the difference is being used from this pool of magma down here. But then we're going to hook this up. It's going to erupt soon. But for the time being, we're just going to collect it. And we should set up a tank ASAP. All right, something like that ought to do it. All right, let's see. Okay, so Natha, sweep only. And then let's go ahead and sweep this thing here. Right away. This is dormant, so we don't need to have a high priority in it. No problem. Everybody can just take their time. And then actually, we want to get some Natha in here since we are bottling. And then I guess that means we don't need this. Yeah, maybe we don't need this plumbing. All right, so here we go. 200 kilos. And then whatever spills over, we're going to just mop it up. That's pretty good. All right, now we can just button this up and should be good to go. This is set at one gram. Starvation. Ah, uh, let's see what's going on. Travaldo's locked out. Gotta get him back in. All right. There we go. Okay, he can just stay there now. That's it. Done. I'm going to organize the dupes later on into their separate compartments. So that way it's not going to be just Travaldo. It's going to be... Everyone's going to have their little areas. But for now, that's fine. All right, this is coming along very well. This is pumping. Temperature is good. Now let's see over here. All right, people need to hurry up. Yeah, it's already urgent, but it doesn't seem to be very urgent for some of these dupes. They're just too busy. You know what? This is not urgent. That's the problem. There. Let's see how we're doing. CO2 here is filling up. And over here, it's still pretty high. But overall, it's kind of manageable. It's not rising too high. We'll get it eventually. All right, come on. Yes, please. Let's get this done. Done. Now, okay, let's set this to some reasonable numbers, so maybe 90 and 80. Okay, so this is done. Let's check automation. Ah, that's a problem. Need that little bit. One. There we go. Beautiful. All set. Okay, let's see. This is all good here. All right, let's see what's printing. Okay, we'll take the nutrient bar for now. Temperature is getting better. I've got this cooling loop, but it hasn't been running all the time because of the power interruptions, but it should be good soon. Gonna have beautiful temperature here. Over here, it's gonna remain nice and cozy, which is the way we want it. And then all the way around, it's fairly chill. So we should be good. And the next project is going to be this thing over here. We're going to rearrange this and then move it downstairs. We got Atmos suits, so there shouldn't be any problems now. We're just going to have to find a good spot for it. 
All right, we're gonna just finish sorting out this Natha, and then we're gonna need to bring some power over here. Fortunately, we got this big wire already coming in, so we're just gonna extend it just a little bit further. Now we can't go through here, you know, for the reasons, because there's gonna be magma. But we can go all the way around like that. That should be fine. Uh, in the meantime, Travaldo is ready to lose his cool, so we're gonna have to let him out and get a proper massage ASAP. Now, the reason there's so much stress around the base is because of this oxygen overpressure. And we got a lot of popped eardrums. And the reason for that is because I'm being pretty cheap here and I'm not using gas pumps. So instead, we've got this kind of a heavy duty oxygen release. And when it opens up, it just releases an enormous amount of oxygen into the base. And same thing over here. So I'm going to look into doing something that's a little bit more gentle that can avoid using uh, gas pumps because this is pretty hardcore and it causes some serious ear damage. Fortunately, we've got these things here. Nothing like a good massage to take the edge off. So that should be good. All right, let's see how we're doing down here. This is almost done. I'm going to wire this thing up. Got rid of this pump. Don't need that anymore. And I think we're going to need to have a new tank for Natha. But again, for now, this thing is not going to run for a while. So maybe later on. At some point, we're going to drain all this magma all the way down to this level. And then we'll see about repurposing this. Let's see, still no magma here. It's getting ready to erupt soon. And what we'll need to do is build a pipe. So let's do it, not this pipe. This is not good enough. We need obsidian. And we also can't run inside a tile or it's gonna melt everything. So here's what we're gonna do. And then we'll just bring that all the way over here. Then we wanna connect the bridge here. Because we're going to need to pass this pipe through to the other side here. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tricky, but it's doable. Just got to maneuver it very carefully. What we want to do is get rid of this wall for now. And then after that, we're going to hook up a pipe. It's going to go over here. Now, yeah, let's see what's... Uh, let's see, let's see. Now, this doesn't look right. Why does it say there's no liquid? I know there was liquid here. Where did it go? It's like, oh, this bridge is messing it up. Oh, that's not cool. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, that should take care of it. All right, let's see. There we go. Ah, uh -huh, but we still need one of these. Yeah. All right, let's see. Check out this pipe here. Okay, that's done. Almost. There's a piece here that's not complete, just in case. And... This other pipe here, we can keep it for now. Maybe it will be useful for something. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's available. Uh, we want to disconnect this. Otherwise, we're going to have a really fun day. All right, that should do it. That way, we don't have to get into the magma. And then we're going to button this up. Uh, we're going to use ceramic over here. Like that. There we go. Now magma should just flow right in here and join this stream over here. I know it looks like a lot of spaghetti, but believe me, there's not a lot of room to maneuver here. So it's just what we got to do. Some of it is going to be removed later on. 
but let's have a look back over here. Okay, so we can then reconnect this. Uh, maybe we'll connect it later when this tank gets a little bit full. And the reason for that is we want uh, quite a bit of magma, so it's going to flow at 10 kilos per second. Otherwise, you're going to have 10 kilos with a gap, and it might cause early cracks and stuff. I mean, inevitably, this pipe is going to crack at some point, I'm sure. But this should help. All right, this is working properly. Now we're just going to set this to above 500. There we go. Perfect, let's have a look. Done. Okay, let's go ahead and close this up. And then the power line just goes around. This door doesn't need to be powered. I just put a conductive wire in there, just in case, but totally doesn't need any power. All right, and we're gonna need to add some cooling. Speaking of cooling, uh, we're gonna need to add that to the other side as well. Yeah, over here. This is not being cooled by anything. And that could cause a problem. But I think that's where this other pipe could come in. I just gotta figure this out. There's not a lot of room to maneuver right now. Ideally, I like to cool this with gas. Let's have a look at the gas. Yeah, we have hydrogen over here. And we can definitely extend this hydrogen all the way up. That should not be any problems. Okay, I guess we can do that. Let's do it. And also, conveniently, we have a hydrogen loop over here with plenty of supply, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right. Bring that over. And then over here, we're just going to link it like this. That should be good. All right, we're going to let them build it. And then we're going to need to feed this with some hydrogen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to borrow this pipe over here for a bit. Oh, that should do it. Now, when it's going to come out, it's going to be over 100 degrees, but that's fine. It's going to cool down here in this pool of oil, and it'll be fine. All right, let's see what we got printing over there. Maybe we have a good dupe. Wouldn't mind one. We got Sweetle. Some pretty decent construction. Takes a little bit of while uh, in the bathroom. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing exciting yet. We'll keep looking. Get the Sweetle for now. Add to this collection of bugs. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, at least the stress level in the base is down, more or less. Power level is up. That's pretty good. We got radiation. Let's see, this is already maxed out. We gotta like connect an automation wire to this or something, because this can have a back feed. Alright, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just turn off the radiation. That will prevent any dupes from getting killed in here. And then, now that it's safe to enter, we're going to connect a automation wire here. And we want to set up a knot gate. Alright, that should do it. Alright, looks like in the meantime, pipe is getting finished up. All done. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we just need to fill this with hydrogen. And for that, I need to disconnect this. There we go. Yeah, a lot of manipulation with pipes and snipping pliers, but it works really well. A couple other things we're going to do here is we're going to cool this with hydrogen now, instead of passing this loop of oil, because this adds a lot of complexity, and we're going to get rid of this oil loop. That should be much better when it's done. I moved this pipe as well, didn't like it. All right, this thing is full, so we should go ahead and open the tap. And initially, some pipes are going to break, most likely, but that's okay. That's all right.
Let's see what the utilization is on this thing. Yeah, not very busy because we're not drawing enough power. So what we got to do now is we got to need to put more load on the grid. So let's find a good spot to run a separate wire off the mains. I think what we'll do is we'll run a wire right up the stairs here. Up this ladder. Okay, that should do it. We're going to run a main wire over here. Reroute this little puny wire. And then create a new circuit. I know it looks pretty ugly right now, but we can beautify this later. Right now, just got to bootstrap it a little bit better. All right, let's disconnect this nonsense here. All right, that should do it. And then let's have a look. Where are we going to run the circuit? All right, that's not very busy. So we're going to split that. All right, we're going to run this up here. All right, we're going to let them finish that circuit. And in the meantime, let's see what's printing. More bugs. And in terms of, okay, increased construction, it's not bad. Um, decreased, <laughs> okay, agriculture, kind of handy to have. Yeah, we're going to pass on this for now. Once something really good comes along, we're going to get that. One other thing I want to do. Okay, this looks good. I want to check, see what's going on here. Ah, <laughs> we're making petroleum. That's nice. Not sour gas, fortunately. All right, we're going to have to repair all this crap. No problem. We can do that. And this petroleum here, that's not a problem either. It just looks kind of funny. But that should not be a problem. We'll skim this off later. Now, let's have a look over here. It's probably going to be dormant for a while, so we wouldn't have to worry. And then going to build a reservoir at some point. All right, this is all getting fixed up. All right, here's how we're going to fix this petroleum mess. Construct this ladder. We're going to put a mesh tile over here, and then we're going to mop on top of it, which should capture all of the petroleum. All right, let's go ahead and mop this thing up. Done. Okay, now we're just going to get rid of this tile, put the wire and the ladder back in, and we're set. Done. Okay, moving on. All right, this pipe is hot. Everything is pumping without incident. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Anyways. Let's see over here. Oxygen is coming in. A couple of the suits broke, I think, from frequent use, but that's fine. Ooh, this is getting a little bit full. We're going to have to do something. Hmm. We got a pump over here. We're going to pump this out. Actually, it does pump it out pretty regularly, but we just don't have enough demand. That's all right. Got a lot of fresh water over here. I think what I'll do is, for the time being, just turn this off, just in case. And then we're going to need to stop filling this up for now. All right. We're going to need to get this power sorted out. There we go. And then where should we connect the circuit now? We have one free circuit. Let's see. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a bridge here. Come on, guys. All right, there we go. Done. And then disconnect that. Hook this up over here. Done. 
All right, so now we've got this dedicated line going this way, essentially. That's for the turbine. So that aqua tuner can run pretty much all the time. But then there's these guys. And I think we need to give them a little bit more power as well. All right, that's pretty neat. Looking at our lime farm over here. Got quite a few eggs already piling up in here. So we're going to have pretty good lime coming in at some point. That's still going to take a while to build up. Over here, let's connect the power to these incubators. Yeah, it's kind of pushing this circuit to the limit. But that's alright. That's why we got the new circuit. And this is still at zero, so that's good. And the CO2... Yeah, the CO2 is getting pushed down pretty good. Nice. Alright. This is running. Alright, that guy is working. This over here needs a reservoir. Let's go ahead and build that up. That should do it. We'll let them build that. And in the meantime... Uh, more suits are wearing out, but that's okay. We still have quite a few. I think we should make a couple more though. That should do it. And this should be automated. Just gotta check the automation. There we go. Everything is up and running. So as soon as this fills up, it's going to stop producing. Beautiful. That's working. Oxygen is through the roof. Food is in plenty. Well, maybe not plenty, but well balanced anyway. Let's look at the other planetoid. Not much going on here right now, but... In the next episode, we're going to come back here, I think. But there's quite a few things still to do here. We've got to get the steel hooked up with magma. So that's going to be a task for the next episode, I think. All right, let's see what's printing here. Okay, we got machine... Oh, this would have been a perfect dupe if only it didn't fart frequently. That's a shame. Machinery athletics, but decreased machinery. Where do they get these guys anyway? Our ladies. Increased strength. Good excavation. This is pretty good, actually. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't need much excavation, frankly. It's construction is what we need. At any rate, I think we're going to have to call it a day here. It's cycle 440. And we'll continue in the next episode. This has been Greasy Hammer, and if you like this video, then smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.